Today, we're diving into a movie that's already stirring up the buzz across festivals and will definitely make waves when it finally hits theaters later this year. Are you ready? Because we're talking about Daniel Craig, starring in the Luca Guadagnino, directed romance drama Queer. Oh yes, Craig is back, but in a way you've never seen him before. Buckle up, because this is going to be a wild emotional ride full of heart, soul, and the kind of filmmaking magic that stays with you long after the credits roll. Now, if you're a fan of Guadagnino's previous work, call me by your name, anyone, or maybe you just recently watched Challenges, then you already know the man behind the camera has an almost poetic way of capturing human emotions, making you feel every tiny nuance, every spark, and every heartbreak. And let me tell you, Queer is absolutely no exception. First up, Queer is set to release on November 27 in a limited number of theatres across the United States. Mark your calendars, folks, because this isn't just another drama. It's a story about loneliness, connection, and finding love in the most unexpected places. At its heart, Queer follows the journey of William Lee, played by none other than Daniel Craig himself. And if you thought his turn as Bond was the peak of his career, wait till you see what he brings to this role. William Lee is an American living in an expat community, leading a rather, well, lonely and isolated life. And honestly, who can't relate to that at some point, right? He's stuck in this mundane existence, almost drifting through life. But, and here's where the magic happens, his world is flipped upside down when a young student played by Drew Starkey enters the scene. Bam, baum. Instant connection. Or is it, it? Now, from what we've seen so far, this isn't your typical love story. Oh, no, no. It's about so much more. It's about that longing to feel understood. That deep, aching need to connect with someone, anyone, in a world that sometimes feels completely indifferent. And guys, the emotional core of this film comes down to the complicated relationship between William and Eugene Allerton that drew Starkey's character, by the way. This is where Daniel Craig is really going to shine in ways we haven't seen before, raw, vulnerable, stripped of the bravado that we've gotten used to seeing. Just imagine, Daniel Craig, the guy who's been the slick, charming Bond for years now, playing a man grappling with internal loneliness, searching for meaning, and trying to navigate his emotions, Queer is going to show Craig in a role that digs deep into the human psyche. It's a drama, yes, but also an intimate exploration of love and identity. You can bet it's going to hit hard. And the way Guadagnino captures these moments, it's like watching a painting in motion. But wait, let's talk about the supporting cast because we've got some major talent here as well. First up, Jason Schwartzman. Now, if you saw Spider-Man. Across the Spider-Verse, you might recognize him as the spot. But here, he's bringing his unique energy to a whole new character. And of course, there's Leslie Manville, fresh off her role as Princess Margaret in The Crown. Manville is always such a force on screen, and I can't wait to see how she fits into this beautifully complex puzzle. This cast, you guys, Daniel Craig, Drew Starkey, Jason Schwartzman, Leslie Manville, it's a powerhouse lineup, and together they're set to deliver performances that will be nothing short of spectacular. Now, we have to talk about Luca Guadagnino. This man is unstoppable. I mean, Challengers just blew people away with its tension and complexity, but now, with Queer, he's pivoting back to something that's a little more intimate, more personal. If you remember the way Call Me By Your Name swept audiences off their feet, you already know the level of artistry we're talking about. Guadagnino has this ability to take a simple story and elevate it into something deeply emotional something timeless. He has a way of making you feel the loneliness of his characters, their yearning, their fear. And what's even more impressive is the way he pays attention to detail. From the cinematography to the smallest gesture by the actors, everything is deliberate, everything matters. That's why Queer is shaping up to be one of those films that sticks with you long after you've left the theatre. It's going to challenge the way we think about love, identity, and what it means to truly connect with another person. But hey, don't just take my word for it. Queer had its North American premiere at this year's Toronto International Film Festival, and it's already gaining momentum. Critics are saying it's hauntingly beautiful and emotionally gripping. And guess what? 
It's set to make an appearance at the New York Film Festival, too, before hitting theatres for us mere mortals on November 27th. So, yeah, it's already got that festival buzz going. I mean, you know when a movie is making the festival rounds and getting that kind of early praise, we're in for something special. The excitement is real, people. Now, let's take a second to think about the emotional impact of this film. This is not going to be a light, popcorn kind of movie. No, no, no. Queer is going to make you think. It's going to make you feel. Guadagnino loves to dive deep into his characters' souls, and from what we know about the plot, the journey William Lee takes is going to be emotional, raw, and deeply human. This is about exploring what it means to find love, what it means to lose yourself in another person. And at the same time, it's about confronting loneliness and coming to terms with who you are. These are universal themes, and in the hands of a master like Guadagnino, it's going to be absolutely breathtaking. So, guys, are you excited yet? Because I know I am. Queer is definitely one to watch. November 27th can't come soon enough, and if you're like me, you're already planning your trip to the theatres for this one. It's going to be a limited release, so make sure you grab those tickets early. And hey, don't forget to come back here after you've seen the movie. Let's talk about it. I want to know your thoughts, your feelings, everything. Will Daniel Craig surprise us with this emotional depth? Will Guadagnino create another unforgettable masterpiece? We'll find out soon enough. All right, my fellow movie lovers, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this deep dive into queer, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. I've got a ton of exciting content coming your way, and I don't want you to miss a thing. Until next time, stay curious, stay passionate, and most importantly, stay connected. Catch you in the next one!